G'day guys, welcome to another Friday Night Beer Review. This week uh, we have another sour on our hands. Um, this one's a big one, uh, not just in size, but in percentage as well at 8.5%. Uh, it's from Garage Project over there in New Zealand. Guys do some good beers. Uh, I was even fortunate enough to, to attend a talk with these guys and hear about their story and their um, different beers they did. I think it was at Gab's, uh, I believe uh, they did an Indian style beer with hemp seed in it. Um, it was uh, like Indian curry as well. It was very out there, but one of the most novel beers I've ever tried. So uh, really excited for this. Um, from them. Uh, so it's a Flanders Red style, Belgian style of, of sour. Um, brewed with a generous portion of dark malts and aged uh, in wine and whiskey barrels, creating a red brown beer with tart fruit, cherry plum, vanilla, and dark chocolate notes. So that's the descriptor. Sounds awesome. Um, it's a big, big end. Um, so I'm probably going to have a, a portion of this and then and keep the rest for my dad because uh, he does love his Belgian sours. So I'll have to keep some aside for him. Uh, the name I cannot pronounce because it's in Belgian and I'm not going to try because I think I already showed that uh, my pronunciation of different uh, languages isn't the best in my German video. I gave it my best go, but uh, I'll uh, put it up on the screen. Uh, below what the name is um, so you guys can find it yourself um, so yeah let's give it a crack my uh, ice beer glass so yeah as I, I think I said um, eight and a half percent five standard drinks in this 750 mil bottle so treat it kind of like a, a light wine I guess and to be honest, being barrel-aged, it's probably not going to taste too dissimilar. I'll just kind of try and keep some of the carbonation in there. Wow, oh, that's a beautiful colour. So, as promised, it is kind of that red, amber sort of colour. It's perfectly clear. Um, nice fluffy head oh and wow a lot going on in the aroma definitely vanilla yeah stone fruit cherries and that's maybe like a slight funky barnyard sort of smell that you get with Brett Maybe a touch of black dough sort of smell as well. Quite rich in the cherries and um, that sort of dark red stone pit fruit. Mm. Oh, great. First sip, cheers. Wow, all right, that's so complex. There's so much going on. It's hard to kind of uh, narrow it down. There's so much going on with the malt and then just the funk, I guess, from the yeast and then the sourness from the bacteria and then you've got the different barrels probably lending their different things. So you've got some wine notes, then like the vanilla is probably a lot like a whiskey bourbon sort of note. Well, all right, I'll see if I can describe it for you guys. Okay, so quite rich, not too thin, like a lot of sours, not overly sour either. Seems like it's been quite balanced. I don't know if they've put some new beer in with this, like it's not 100% barrel, I'm not sure. Um, wouldn't surprise me if there's some new beer because it doesn't seem as aggressive or harsh or sort of acetic acid at all that you can sometimes get can creep into beers um, that are barrel aged. So 
it's quite balanced with the with the acidity rich nice um, mouth feel sharp carbonation which is good quite carbonated um, rich cherry and vanilla up front and then it kind of goes into like a, a wine um, like a light rosé maybe or a light red not a heavy bold red sort of red wine towards the end hmm Well, it's such a good beer. Like, uh, this is a great beer to show you just what's possible, how many flavors and things that you can just get into one beer, meld together, and you could probably sit here and pick it apart for days. I'm sure like I could let it warm up and I'll, I'll get something new from it or a different day, like depending on what I've eaten today could even influence what I'm pulling out. But there's just so much going on, it's so complex and just really enjoyable. Um, if you're a wine drinker, maybe get into some of these barrel aged sort of sours. Um, you'll probably find a lot of familiar fa flavors and things um, that you like. Mm, but it's just really interesting. Oh, cracking beers. Maybe even getting some black currant now. I don't really get any chocolate like they describe. Plum, yeah, yeah, I could see the plum as well. It's another thing they could see. All right, stone fruit that I was describing. So yeah, cracking big. Um, do have a look for it, or even things similar uh, uh, in style. Both bottle shops uh, carry. Um, Belgians or Belgian styles and um, yeah, they're maybe a little bit more pricey, but again, you just go treat it like a nice bottle of wine and then have a glass, maybe put a stopper back in it and save some for later or save some for a friend or share it with a friend. Uh, it's even better. And you can sit there and dissect all the different flavors. So uh, cheers guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed that beer. Um, a lot of things to try and pick out there. Be fun to try and maybe pair it with some food or even like a cigar or something like that. Um, I don't know, we'll see if we get to that stage. Um, but anyway, I'll give a little uh, promo for next week. So I thought, oh, we're doing a New Zealand company. I might do another one. So this is from Chur, uh, another New Zealand company. And uh, this is their Australia Hazy IPA. Uh, so apparently a lot of Australian hops in this and this is uh, the New Zealanders uh, giving us a little shout out uh, if you read the can there's a big long story I won't go into it but uh, it's a bit of love from them during these COVID times uh, maybe giving a couple of cracks in there as well which is always good fun so uh, I don't know if you see this around um, I got this from uh, Manning Street, Kayama. Um, so I know at least they have it. Um, and yeah, check it out. Grab one if you want to have one with me. It looks good. Um, thought it's time to do a back to a, a IPA because I've done a couple of sales in a row. So um, cool. Thanks, guys. Cheers, and uh, I'll catch you next week. See ya.